Hello and welcome to the print. I am Smruti and today we are at the third edition of Swavalamban being held in New Delhi, organized by the Indian Navy. The two-day event was inaugurated by the Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral Dinesh K. Tripathi and the theme of the event is Strength and Power through Innovation and Indigenization. The event is seeing wide participation from MSMEs, startups and innovators. The aim of the event uh, is to bolster the Indian Navy's capabilities through Made in India platforms. The first two editions of Swavlamban uh, saw more than rupees 1000 crore contracts being signed by the Indian Navy with uh, the Indian companies. Right now we are at Altair Infrasec uh, and uh, we are looking at the display put up by the company and uh, what they are offering to the Indian Navy is uh, we have with us Captain Anshuman Chatterjee. Uh, hello sir, thank you for taking your time out to talk to the print. Uh, can, can you please tell me uh, about what products uh, the company is uh, offering to the Indian Navy? The products over here are basically ASW and aviation uh, related. So I'll tell you a little bit about the con company. Company is a technology development company which works in close tandem with Indian Navy. We understand what is the requirement of the Indian Navy and we develop technology which will help them based on the user experiences and what is the requirement of the Navy. With regards to the products we have on display here, if you can, if you can just show us, we've got three things. One is an EMAT which is an expendable mobile ASW target, uh, training target. This is a small uh, torpedo-like object. And uh, this is launched from a PHI Boeing aircraft, which is with the Indian Navy. And it is launched from a helicopter and it can also be launched from a ship. So the purpose of this thing is to train air crew who are carrying out an anti-submarine warfare using sonar and sonoboys. So this generates frequencies and sound, audio sound inside the water, tonals uh, similar to a submarine or a torpedo. So this is dropped in the water, it goes down to a depth of about 150 meters and it does various patterns and legs so it can uh, stay alive in the water for about 6 hours and uh, it does various patterns for uh, the detection in sonar and MAD. MAD is a magnetic anomaly detector and uh, uh, for training the air crew. So this is a very cost effective method of training air crew rather than bringing a boat, a submarine is referred to as a boat in the Navy, a boat for uh, training somebody which is very, so it's a very cost effective method. And so we have indigenized this and it's going to be used for the thing. We are at the very crucial juncture of the trial stage and after that hopefully by next year early we will complete the trials. How many of these are you expecting that the Navy will order? Unfortunately, those numbers are uh, not disclosed, uh, but you have to pardon me for not disclosing that. We are currently standing at the display put up by Sagar Defence Engineering and we have with us Mr. Mridul Babbar, who is the co-founder of the company. So, uh, this vessel is called uh, Unmanned Boat. So it is one of its kind platform that has been developed which is powered by our core technology which is patented in nature which is called Genesis Boat in a Box. So what uh, we started back in 2015 and the technology is called Genesis Boat in a Box. It is platform agnostic in nature. It, it can be retrofitted on multiple platforms irrespective of shape, size and propulsion. We started with working in maritime uh, domain and we have built this unmanned maritime boat which has multi-mission capability. At the same time, they have the capability to launch and recover uh, aerial platform as well, which will enhance the security and surveillance range of this platform. At the same time, it has an autonomous underwater vehicle, which will give the underwater domain awareness to the platform as well. So this platform can be controlled from a distance. Distance can vary from few kilometers going all the way up to satellite communication where we can control it anywhere around the globe as well, sitting at a shore as well and at a different location as well. So these are the core competencies of uh, this platform. So what they will enable uh, the user is to have, as we have a more than 7,500 kilometer of coastline, so this will enhance the security and surveillance of operations which we want to do in the region. Okay. So what stage is this product at, at this point in time? So the complete trials has been done and it is in the induction phase as we speak.
Loitering munitions play a decisive role in today's day and age. They are used by the armed forces around the world to hover around a target until the target is located and then crash into it. An Indian startup, Artiman, has produced an air and ground launched canistered multi role loitering unmanned aerial system. Very interestingly, the company has also featured its multi role vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial system and unmanned multi-role autonomous aerial tactical system. We have with us uh, founder directors uh, Sushil and Saurabh Ghule. Uh, welcome sir. Thank you for uh, taking time out to talk to the print. Yeah. So, uh, Sir, could you tell us a little about air ground launched canistered multi-role loitering unmanned aerial systems in various categories? Uh, Ma'am, uh, we have challenge from Indian Navy. Uh, it is op open challenge 6. Uh, that is for canisterized loitering munition. Uh, specifically, it should be launched from uh, uh, Sonoboy launcher of uh, P-8I aircraft, which Indian Navy operates. Uh, this challenge we accepted, we own the challenge and we have developed the aircraft from scratch. It is tailor-made uh, made aircraft, uh, uh, one of its kind. This uh, aircraft, uh, whatever aircraft you are looking at right now, is completely developed version uh, and it is uh, prototype. It is working flying prototype. Uh, while testing the prototype, we understood that it needs sub, uh, another support system, so we developed those also. Okay. This aircraft uh, can be launched from Sonoboy launcher. It can fly for 100 kilometers. It has uh, limited endurance of one, uh, one hour with payload capacity of 1 to 1.5 kgs, depending on configuration of the aircraft. So, so um, how will this... Uh, uh, how is this loitering munition different than the others, uh, other loitering munitions that are available? Ma'am, uh, this loitering ammunition is actually a concept called uh, air launch defect. Uh, we are launching it from a manned aircraft. The uh, aircraft which we are launching is an unmanned aircraft. It is manned to unmanned and then we are flying. It is a s system which can augment the cap uh, various capabilities of our forces. Uh, generally, the loitering munition you see these days are launched from the ground. This is indigenized, uh, indig indigenous effort to design and develop aircraft which can be uh, launched from the aircraft. So the Navy has uh, featured this product in their uh, product highlights. Uh, so at what stage is this pro product currently? Um, just to give you some key features, ma'am, uh, the challenge is actually a very big challenge for us. We had to put a flying aircraft inside a very small canister. Canisters dimensions are so restrictive, making a full-fledged aircraft with control systems, sensors, batteries, which gives that kind of range and endurance, was a very big challenge. Uh, everything had to be custom made, figuring out the swing mechanism, launch safety, separation studies. So it is a lot of deep tech in multiple domains goes into building this aircraft. So we have sorted out all our problems and uh, we are fully competent. We have done multiple sorties and have clocked enough hours in ground launch mode. We have tried to replicate everything which is there on a PHA aircraft system on ground. So currently we are at a stage where we have successfully proved autonomous vehicle with similar tube which fits inside a Sonoboy tube and gets ejected and uh, goes on its mission mode autonomously with all its sensors and it is performing all its uh, roles uh, beautifully. Now we are progressing into a stage we are about to initiate uh, launch trials physically from the aircraft. We will do that uh, on the ground. In the next stage uh, after uh, all clearances we get from all safety agencies and uh, design agencies. Then the next pro step would be to launch it from air. So currently we have successfully completed all our trials uh, in ground launch phase, progressing towards air launch. Uh, so, uh, ma'am, uh, why is this uh, product uh, important for the Indian Navy and how will it help in indigenization? Actually, we are in the process of replacing the parabolic reflectors which are on the ships by uh, planar antennas, flat plate antennas and conformal antennas also, which are matching the uh, parameters of the parabolic dishes up to a uh, optimum level. So we will be having high directivity, the beam steering facility without red ohms, uh, with, uh, sorry, without uh, gimbal based uh, systems. So we are having our own metameter based red ohms which will improve the performance and um, 
it is outperforming the uh, facilities provided by the parabolic reflectors on the maritime ships on the ships so ma'am how will uh, satcom help in uh, uh, the operations of uh, loitering munition actually we are uh, because we are having our own designs we will be miniaturizing them to suit our uh, artemon uh, products so miniaturization is the uh, key thing which will be used and the designs will be done accordingly to suit uh, the loitering munition it will be gps gnss based all will be taken care of several of these futuristic projects have already been contracted by the indian navy or are in the process of getting contracted this promises a navy that is uh, well prepared for the challenges of the future i am smruti deshpande uh, with camera person soumya upadhyay uh, thank you for watching the print